I build models sometimes with weird materials. And I've always found aviation to just be really kind of magical just because airplanes are engineering marvels. And I wanted to marry that with the unconventional building technique. This great big story was made possible by Geico. Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. For my day job, I work in IT and management, but I've just always been creatively minded. I've always been drawn to those kinds of projects. I've been making things since I could figure out what tape and string were. I was super young. I probably drove my parents crazy. I'm best known for the paper airplane models that I make. What I use to build the models is manila folder, glue, an X-Acto, and a straight edge, essentially. It's hard to know exactly how many folders I've gone through, but I would say it's in the hundreds for this project, and there's a lot of scrap left over. I kept it to a minimal set of materials just because I like the challenge of building something from only one thing and having to figure out how to make that serve many purposes. The model began on a much less detailed scale, but I did, over time, realize that I could start building in more articulating functions, more details in the interior. And inside, there are tissues in the bathroom, there are lights on the seats. Nothing actually moves in the cabin, but all the detail is there. I've always just found the 777 to be a really elegant, nicely proportioned plane, and so it was partly an issue of aesthetics. I've always just been a fan of that particular model. I studied pictures online, some technical drawings, and I actually create my own plans, and there's just no guide for how to do that, so I'm basically learning along the way. It's simultaneously kind of freeing and also really frustrating not to have plans. I can really take it in any direction, but you have to be incredibly inventive about how you solve problems because it really hasn't been done. A lot of people probably think that my end game was absolute perfection with the model, but in fact it was more just about the process of making it. It's the thought of the completed product that inspires me and just being able to solve such a complex problem. It's just what I derive a lot of satisfaction from.